What's up everybody, Llama King here, and I just want to do a quick video on a dark nest. We're trying something new here. We're doing a really hard dark nest, and we're sending only T4 troops. Here, here's the dark nest here. Level 21 essence. We just did one level 21 essence, sent all T4 troops, and we did it. Now we're trying it again, except this is different. That one was all, I think it was heroic fighters. This one is going to be all ranged, but look at this. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. But there's almost 4 million T4 troops, and I sent all Heroic Cannoneers myself. Hopefully, this nest is sending a Cavalry Phalanx. So the Cavalry hit first, and we knock down their morale quicker before they do, and we win the nest, hopefully. I don't think it's going to happen, but my guild seems to think so. So they wanted me to video this just in case we did it. And if we do, then it proves that if you send all T4 against a nest that looks impossible you can do it like i didn't think we were do we were going to do the last one and we did so like i said we're sending all uh, heroic cannoneers except for the people that don't have t4 and want to get in they're sending one t3 so we're going to see if uh if this works so who are we waiting for here three minutes 50 seconds uh i don't normally do this because i hate speeding up for nests Especially when it's only one troop, but I just want to get this over with. I got my speed gear on. Let's throw on an attack boost. I'm just, you know, I, I changed over my talents to pure ranged. Uh, 20%. I'm not going to waste a 50%. I got my speed gear on for the tra for the uh, the trip, and then I'll switch it when we start marching. Right? You guys know that trick, right? As long as your you uh, switch to the gear you want before you hit your target. It counts. You know what I mean? So I've got my speed gear on. I'm, I'm, if you're wondering why I'm scouting this, this dead account, it's because I want my Fury. My Fury gives me an extra 8% army attack, 5% army defense, and 5% army max HP. That's all because of research. Really expensive research for a tiny little buff. But it does help. Now we're marching. See there. I've got my speed gear on. We're marching nicely. So I got the speed effect. Now I'm going to put my ranged gear on, which isn't the best. Only got a blue cup. I do have a gold blight ring. Going to keep that on that. Oh, bumble helm. And there we go. So I'm full range, ranged phalanx, talents. All in ranged, and I even put the defense on. And of course, squad health. Extra defense, hey, whatever. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, three minutes to march. Uh, got a nice long march. We're not going to do it. 142 million. You, you saw it's got f <laughs> almost 2 million uh, calves, 2 million ranged. And we only have, what do we got? One point. 2 million T4. The last one we did was 1.8 million. There's no way we're going to do this. But in the meantime, I got some chests to open. So let's open these. While we wait for the march. Open these crap first. Now let's see what do we got here. Black wing. Queen B, you want the Venom? No Venom. Bloodsucker! Ah, got one green. That's better than none, right? Legendary Shiny Surprise. Let's see. Thousand Gems. Yeehaw. 500. That's, 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 2,500 there. 400, huh? Could have been better. Don't need any Noceros stuff. Monstrous chest, give me something good. Mutated brain, meh. Grim Reaper. I don't need any more of this. I already got my codex to gold. Except for the Grim Jewel. I do like that Grim Jewel. For uh, range blasts. Look at that, rare curse skull. Ooh, blue Grim Jim Jewel. <laughs> 
Let's see. Hal Drider. Epic mutated brain. Look at that. I don't even really need brains anymore. We gotta be getting close here. One minute thirty-eight. Okay. Where is it? There we go. Let's just make sure. Got my gear on and everything, right? Yeah. Ranged phalanx. I'm in fury. Got my attack boost on. Good. Let's see if we can, see if we can finish these chests here. Rare heat or yay. Fortune chest, 9,000, I didn't get, ah, I had 60 of them. I was hoping to get the 100,000 stars one. Not bad though, not a bad haul. Uh, maggot, we want the uh, corrosive toxin. We got one green, All right? Cause I am trying to get my other blight ring to gold. I think I have the blue, maybe purple, I, I can't remember. Gantry Jewel, that's what I want. Orb. Nope. <laughs> Ingot, come on, gems. Big money. Oh, pfft. That's schwat. Uh, Griffin, don't need it. How many more do we got going here? Um, auspicious pouches. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to hurt. Totally not going to do it, but let's see how bad we do. All right, let's just see how bad we do or how close we get. There we go. And smoke. See? All right. Let's just see. So a wall probably comes down pretty quick. Yep, boom, down. Now we are up against, okay, it looks like it's a uh, cavalry failing. So it's just what we wanted. Now let's just see here. Actually, we're not doing too bad. If we had more T4, we only have 1.2 million. Need 200k T4 more, yeah. Wow, we did pretty darn good. Yeah, we did pretty darn good. Now, I wonder if we filled the rest with T3. I'm curious. I'm really curious. Or if we do worse. Should we do the test? Maybe I'll do another video and do a test on that. So if that's the case, then maybe I'll split this video up into two. But anyway, let's finish these chests and then call this video done. Come on now. Auspicious Partridge. 14. Uh, 14, 5,000 energy. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I uh, don't need any of this. And don't need any of this. Wow, oh, wow, look at that. Legendary Frostwing Heart. Wow. Wish I needed it. I guess I could build... Uh, what is it? Is it the accessory? Did, does it even take a heart? Gold production, most memory. We can look. Not bad. All right, there you go. Anybody in a VIP? Oh, I got a brave heart. Ah, let's uh, cash in these stars. Whoop. And I've only got three migration scrolls, and it cost me tons of migration scrolls to migrate. So please stop messaging me, asking me to come to the your new kingdom, where I will be the highest might guy and take over the kingdom, because I'm not spending 90 scrolls. I don't have 90 scrolls and I'm not spending a thousand dollars to buy 90 scrolls sorry <laughs> anyway we just migrated here just a few weeks ago anyway anyway so. so we are going to retry this I think so I will uh split the video up into two all right so in the meantime stay tuned keep calm and I'm on and I'm back so we did end up filling up the rally with almost all T4. So there we go. Here we go. We got 2.287 million troops. And as you can see, they are all T4. Except for the people that don't have T4. They put one troop in so they can get the essence, right? But 
we got all heroic cannoneers. Now well, we are using all heroic cannoneers because we know that the nest is in cavalry phalanx and that the cavalry will be up front and will smash into our ranged ranged counter cavalry. So we will knock down the morale quicker than they will because the cavalry are weak against the ranged and the ranged are just eat their ranged, the nests ranged are even with our ranged, you see? So we will knock down the morale faster than they will, even though we have half the troops. Because uh, this one's got, what, like 4.4 4 million troops or something? I got rid of the uh, turf scouted. Send nudes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, oh yeah. So, I got my ranged gear on, which isn't the best. You know, I only got a, like a blue cup. I got a blue bumble helm. I'm trying to get the bumble helm up, but jeez. Look at this. Look. Huh. Oh, I got one legendary. Oh, wait. I don't need a legendary. What am I doing? <laughs> there we go. So I need four more. Bah. But still. It still has 26% uh, range attack on it. Well, I got a, a jewel in there, so it helps. And I'm in Fury. I have my 20% on. So, march, march, march. Here we go. We'll do this for sure. I have full confidence this time. March, march, march. 142 million nest. And there's 2 million cavalry and 2 million uh, heroic cannoneers. All heroic. Hey! Let's watch. Boop. This wall will come down instantly. Bam. Now, see, cavalry phalanx on their end. So, the cavalry come in and smash against our range. And our range just start making Swiss cheese of them horses. Or, actually, they're not horses. They're dragons, aren't they? Or drakes. Oh, yeah. Wrecked it. You're right, runner. We wrecked it. See? The power of counter. We countered the cavalry, and that's all we had to do. We didn't even have to touch the ranged. All we had to do was get rid of the cavalry, which is exactly what we just did, and run away! We win. Okay? Level 21 essence in my pocket. There we go. Now we know what to do. <laughs> Oh yeah, that doesn't work. We've always known we need more T4. Laugh out loud. <laughs> that was almost a full T4 rally, so of course we won. But it's not because it was all T4. Like You have to send the right stuff. You have the right gear and have the right talents. Like I sp actually spent a thousand gems right to switch over my talents i used up a uh, army attack boost you know what i mean put myself into fury which doesn't matter but i had to do all that just to get a level 21 essence and i might get lucky and maybe get three three hour speed ups out of it or something was it worth it yeah it's worth it because my guild my whole everyone that joined the rally got a level 21 essence basically for free Except for a few resources to heal the troops. But anyway. Was that fun or what? Anyway, that's how you do it, guys. You need all T4. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's all it is for now. Thanks again. This was a two-parter split-up video. All mashed into one. But I'll say it again. Get out there and have fun. Keep calm. And llama on.